Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Your Universalist 3 Divine Wind Death and Taxes with your host Shenmur. Currently playing as Baromania. Oh, there you go. Looks good, man. Looks good. Anyway, we're at peace, which is nice. Uh, we're trying to keep good relations with all of our buddies. Uh, I would like to look forward to annexing a couple of our vassals in the near future, and also vassalizing uh, either Naples or Croatia or Byzantium or Moria, whoever. Styria canceled their alliance with us, so fuck them. Yeah, sorry guys, but fuck them. Let's get back in game. I managed to somehow inhale some coffee. And I don't mean that figuratively. I mean, I was trying to swallow the coffee, and I managed to breathe in instead of swallowing. So I've been coughing up the last, like, ten minutes. And my eyes are watering, and I had coffee and mucus and stuff just rolling down my nose. It was horrible. It's like, what the hell just happened? <clears throat> so I'm still trying to clean up everything. I don't I don't know how I managed to do that, but it's not fun. <clears throat> anyway, we have Gors with our Umlaut O. Awesome. Zeta, Budgic, Constantinopolis, and Karma. Yeah, someone said we should rename the territories in Asia here that we've taken. And, uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, what are the names that they should be? You know? Let me know. And no, I don't mean the um, Romanian names. I mean, what names would uh, they be in the Roman Empire? Or in the Byzantine Empire, what would they call them? Because this is kind of our Byzantine area, this crap. So we would like them to have the names that they would typically use for that. Anyway, if anyone knows, let me know. I I, I really can't be arsed to look up, look it up. I'm, I'm more focused on playing a game with the limited time that I have available right now. Yeah, I told you guys in the last episode that I <clears throat> I took a second job, so I'm working quite a lot. And uh, if my output of content drops, then I'm sorry, but there's not much I can do about it. I'll try to keep putting out as much as I can with the three uh, Let's Plays that I'm doing con concurrently. Alright, put our speed up to full. Let's see, we have colonists. We're losing money, that's bad. Is it because we're funding troops? We're not funding troops. Well then, why are we losing money? We shouldn't be losing money if we're not funding troops. I mean, we're still minting. How are we possibly losing money? Big war in Europe going on. Let me show you. So essentially it's France versus most of the HRE. It's really convoluted because England and Bavaria, I think they're buddies. Okay, they're not super buddies, but they are buddies. You can see they're blue. So uh, Eng England can't get into the war though because they have a truce with France, which they got in the last episode. Also what's going on is Burgundy... Uh, is at war with Castile, and that war has been going on for fucking ever. And I don't mean that... I also do not mean that figuratively. I mean, they literally have been at war for as long as I can remember. I, I, I cannot remember what episode they started the war, but it was a long-ass time ago. So France can't really rely on Burgundy to join its war against uh, Bavaria and Bohemia because Burgundy's too fucking busy. Anyway. You can see our cores... Uh, we, most of them are in the north, of course. Uh, the traditional Romanian lands are, of course. Uh, we gained one randomly in Ruthenia, and <clears throat> we're starting to core out some of the other shit that we've taken over time, which is great. We've got a core in Bosnia. We're getting some cores in Asia. It's fantastic. I like it a lot. Okay, Saxony. That's nice. 
Sweden got peace, Holstein got peace, that's fine. Are we still going broke? No, we're not. Okay, so that... No, we're making 136 gold a year, that's fine. So let's lower our treasury. Let's go to... 7. Okay, so France annexed Provence. So they now have all three territories that are normally in... Uh, Provence when you start the game that these two and this are Provence but now France has them so more power to them bravo France yada 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 oh they're even interested in an alliance well not super interested very unlikely if they weren't interested in alliance it would say impossible very unlikely means they are interested but it means we have too many allies and we do we have way too many allies Maybe, unlikely, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll take we'll take any of these guys, man. Let's see. This would be four infamy, yeah, and uh, we would lose one stability. Eh, it's worth a shot, I guess. Hey, hey look at that! First fucking try, baby. Oh, cool. So, Serbia? Oh, they were building troops. God damn it. So now we have Serbian troops that are going to be built. Uh, we can cancel them, I guess. Yeah, we don't need them. Really don't need them. If we need troops, we will build them ourselves. Thank you, Serbia. So there you go. One of our vassals is gone. Which means we lose relations with our other two vassals, so we're going to have to pay him some dollar dues. That's fine. And, uh, because we got larger, that will increase the chances of us being able to vassalize either of these two guys. But, uh, we have to get our stability up and our infamy down, and you know how it works. There's little things that you have to watch for. Alright, we have an advisor slot because our prestige guy died. I forgot about that. Oh. Look at that. There, There is actually a non-Grand Marshal. That's amazing. We're going to have to buy him for sure. Because he's better than our artist by a lot. Anyway, we'll wait a little bit and just let, let time pass. Oh, Novgorod joined the war. Psh. What are you going to do, Novgorod? Yeah, I'm looking at you. What are you going to do? Huh? Huh? That's right, you're not going to do anything. Fucking So, how's that old, uh, ah, oh, shit, overextension, revolt risk goes up. Fuck. Stability cost goes up quite a bit. Why are we overextended? What the shit? Oh, that's right, I forgot we have rebels up here in Crane. Herp derp. Good general? Yeah, he's a decent general. Uh, shit. Uh, yeah, I guess we do need to fund our troops for one month. Then we'll go attack. Ouch, minus five attacking penalty. Good. We get there first? No, we get there the same day. Do we have a general with better maneuver? Yes, we do. Yo. There we go. Now we're going to get there first. Yeah? Yeah, we got there the day before. Excellent. And we killed them. Fuck yeah. Alright, unfund. Perfect. Ah, more rebels. Great. Ten thousand guys though, I'm gonna have to fund my troops for that. Damn it. Feels like a waste of money, but what are you gonna do? Oh, 
Oh, more rebels. Good, they're dead. I like dead rebels. They're much better than alive rebels. Stop being rebels just for a bit. Naj declared war on Persia. Really? Really? Dude, Naj, I know you think you're cool and all, but you suck. Declaring war on Persia is like the dumbest motherfucking thing you can do. Oh, goodness. I hope you like being annexed. Alright, rebels are dead. What about these guys? Good, all the rebels are gone. Stop funding these clowns. What a waste of money. Oh, 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 what was that? What was that? What was that? Golden Horde accepted peace with Persia. Oh, okay. See, Dagestan. Okay, so Persia got that little thing with, with wool. Wow. Good job, Persia, I guess. Uh, oh, they had a core on it, so they got a reconquest. Okay. And Zaporozhye is free, so now the Golden Horde cannot reach us again. Hooray! But these guys are allied with Persia. Damn. That's fine. Fine by me. Fine by me. Oh, fuck. Rebels. Rebels. Oh, goodness. Hey, Gores is core. Excellent. Mmm. I'm just gonna rub that shield a little bit. Mm, delicious core. Yeah, someone said they liked the flag I made. Thank you very much. I did very little work to make it look that way. running to Bosnia. We'll go the same way. Oh, Mamluks were embargoing us. I didn't even notice. Why would I care? Hey, you guys want to be vassalized? Oh, we can't. Why not? Oh, because our relations have dropped. Why did our relations drop? Fuck, I don't know. Interesting. Can we afford to pay them? Yes, we can. There we go. You guys happy now? You guys want? You guys are super happy. All right, those rebels are dead. We gotta get our rebel problem under control, man. This shit's ridiculous. Excellent supplies. What's that do? Ship cost? Oh, come on. W w when, when, when did I ever build ships? Get real. Oh, we can do a settlement policy somewhere. Let's see. We're already doing it in Hamid. Uh, we could do Denzili, Antoya. Let's do uh, Cochaeli. Yeah. Yeah, Coach Ailey's got huge money, so let's make them settled. Settlement policy, yep. Does it cost us any money? No. Good. 
but it does cause uh, our infamy to decrease more slowly. That's fine. Settlement policy is so awesome. I can't wait for uh, Romanian culture to start spreading into Asia. That'd be so cool. Alright. You killing them yet? Yeah, they're dead. Oh, crap. God damn it. We guys just... Stop rebelling. Oh, that's a scary view. Let's let's take a look at the revolt risk. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, look at Bosnia. Bosnia's like, now nah, we're happy. Gores is like, now nah, we're good, bro. Oh yeah, of course they're happy. They have gold. Budget and Larissa. So wherever we have an army present, they're just super happy. Oh, will you guys please go kill these rebels for me? I don't really feel like it. Yeah, they're actually going up there. Good job, Bohemia. Go kill my rebels. I'm too lazy. They're doing it. They're actually killing my rebels. Love it. Love it. You, sir. Eh, that general will do just fine. Too lazy to sw swip in a good general. Or government policies. Uh, lose stability or lose money. Well, I don't have any money, so... Fuck. I guess we lose stability. Well, that's no good. I need stability. God damn it. Uh, negative two. That's not good, my friends. We need to get that up to, like, plus two. And I don't feel like just throwing money at stability, you know? That's a bad way to solve a problem. But we got our government dude back. We did. Then we can stop funding our government. Shit. How much money does he put into it? Plus 10. Oh, that's not that much. That's what she said. Alright, we'll uh, we'll put 10 of our own and 10 from him. Wow, we're investing a lot in land tech. How much do we need for national idea? I guess we do need to invest in government, don't we? Okay, we'll bring it back up. Because uh, we really need these national ideas to stay competitive on the battlefield. We really need to get uh, military drill and uh, national conscripts. And we, we have moved our sliders enough to make it happen, but we still need two uh, national idea slots. So 12 and 15 are when we're actually going to be able to do that. Okay. Offer vaccination? Unlikely. Uh, you guys... Impossible. For some reason, Moria is just like, no. Unlikely. These guys, I mean, we have cores on them, so it'd be nice to get that, you know? Let's see. Uh, I bet it, it hurts our relations by 30 if they say no. So we'll wait until they say maybe before we give it a shot. Uh, we need to start throwing money at these guys. Get our relations back up. Very good. Let's see, we have a missionary. Can we missionize somewhere? Yes, we can. Uh, let's do the center of trade down here. Yeah. Oh my god, that was 67.5 gold. Wow. There goes our money. You'll have to explain to me what this foreign concept of currency is, because I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you get him, Bohemia. I mean, Brohemia. Good job, broskies. Broskies. You guys still at war with France? Yeah, of course you're still at war with France. That shit won't end. And these three Russian states over here. Yeah, that's right. Skov, Polotsk, and Novgorod. Three one province miners are at war with France, and they're fucking landlocked. So, yeah. Brilliant. Good job, Bohemia. Thank you very much. Oh, fuck. More fucking revolts. God damn right. Whatever. Just attack them. I'm not gonna fund you. 
Janina. Yes. Attack. I'm not gonna fund you. Too lazy. Ow. Painful. Have to rely on overwhelming numbers to uh, compensate for my complete inept ruling. Mm, delicious coffee. So good when drunk instead of inhaled. They're running the mess along. We'll follow. Will you please hurt them? It's like you're not even hurting them. It's ridiculous. Alright, now they're running away. Good, good. Can we beat them there? No, we'll get to the same day. Well, looks like we need to swap in the good leader. No. No. This guy. This is our good leader, because he has six movement speed. Can we beat them now? No, we're right the same day, but I think we will beat them regardless. Regardless. I think we will beat them. Let's see. No, we did not, but we still killed them. Okay. I can live with that. Uh, no, that's too much dollars. Too much dinero. Fuck, my economy sucks. Ah, oh, rebels. You guys, go away. I don't like rebels. Dee 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 dee. Oh yeah, good job, Bohemia. I forgot you even existed, but you did great. Huh? Ferrara and Urbino are at war. <gasps> oh, that was the same guy. I was gonna say, damn. Why are you guys at war? What the fuck? Urbino started the war over Urbanese aggression against Ferrara. Whoop. Why would anyone care? Oh, Bohemia's on Ferrara's side. What? Oh, because they're HRE. Ah, yeah. You're gonna die, Urbino. Probably gonna get annexed by the Pope. Sucks to be you. Muscovy will cede Esland and Livland. Yeah, so Teutonic Order got the Balkans back. Good job, Teutons. I knew you could do it. I knew it. Leading personal union with Sicily. Blah, blah, blah. Sicily is currently conquered by France. Good job, France. Half five. Sweden has pushed out Castile from here, and they've also invaded Lisbon. Good job, Sweden. You're totally, like, threatening Castile by taking Lisbon. I'm sure Castile is shaking and their Spanish booties. So we could declare war on Urbino if we wanted to, but, you know, what the fuck would be the point? Ah, uh, yes, relations. Uh, can't really afford it. We'll wait till December, see if we have any dollar redos, and if we do, then we'll, then we'll afford it then. Comprende? Capiche? What? Uh, what the fuck? Ferrara got peace with Urbino. Ferrara and Naples will form a union. That doesn't even make sense. Huh? It was over the six. It was a succession war. I get it. Why, why didn't it say that? Oh, it did. War of Neapolitan succession. 
Oh. Well, shit, I guess I should have paid attention. I guess I should have sent that offer to vassalize, because now we have no chance. That's impossible. Well, fuck. Oh, look at that. It says, on leader death, Croatia gets inherited by Ferrara. Fucking hell, man. What the fuck? With you personal union bullshit? Oh, god damn it. Burgundy's invading a little random shits. I'm just sitting here dumbfounded. I mean, that's some crap, man. That is some crap. Our war exhaustion is down to almost zero. That's excellent. We need a lot more cultural tradition so that we can get a prestige guy. Because our prestige is dropping, and that's bad. Uh, yeah, three paintings, please. I need some more, though. What? Muscovy is now embargoing us for some reason. The fuck? You have the mission to conquer Podolia, so you embargo Romania. Why? Podolia is... Where the fuck is Podolia? Podo there it is. Okay, you have a mission to conquer Podolia. That's fantastic. What does that have to do with us? Why would you embargo us? We've been, like, buddies in the past. In fact, I don't know what we ever did to piss you off, but apparently we did something. <sighs> anyway. In the meantime... What a weird world we live in, my friends. Uh, yeah, let's just pay him off, whatever. Take your dollary dues. Bengal Axe Nepal. Good job, Bengal. Good job. Oh, we lost our alliance with them because in a personal union, you can't have your own alliances. Well, poo. Can't afford to send a missionary to either of those places. God damn it, we're, we're so poor. Good supplies has expired. That sucks. So, let's see, where's our modifiers? Here we go. Let's see if we can find overextension here. There it is. We have to meet these requirements. Have less than 50% of our land as cores. And. Ah, we have. We're too centralized to have as much territory as we have. I get it. Okay. Calling us to war? Probably against France, huh? Well, we don't have any access. We do have a marriage, but this is going to drop our stability to negative three. That would be bad. <sighs> God damn it. Fine. There goes our stability. I'm not, not going to send any armies or anything. Oh, Savoy, Bari, Orleans. They're all just vassals. France has no allies. It's just vassals. More volts, of course. Of course. What could I possibly do if it weren't for revolts? Probably create one of the wonders of the world, but no, instead of wonders of the world, we have revolts. Oh, Muscovy canceled trade embark. 
the fuck, Muscovy? And yeah, Najah's getting invaded. Big fucking surprise there. And we converted Smyrna. Good, good. Shit, we're out of time for this episode. Ah, well. Hope you guys enjoyed our time together today. We have gone diving into the pits of stability problems. I mean, we really have no chance in hell of climbing out of this stability hole right now unless we start funding every penny we have in stability. And I just can't do that. I can't. I won't. I mean, shh. Fuck it. I just can't do that. No. No, sir. I can always get a better stability guy, but it looks like someone hired the better stability guy. So there's nothing on the market, just these fucking useless grand marshals. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the time together today, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please rate it plus one. And uh, if you have any comments, let me know. And by all means, if you uh, enjoyed this and like to see more such videos, I make them pretty frequently, so go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.